Right now, three people are behind bars following a brazen theft at an Orlando ATM. Video shows the accused suspects using a truck to break open the machine. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is following this story for us. And Lauren, the video had a pretty good angle of what happened. It did. There's only one ATM out here where there used to be two. I'm going to have my photographer zoom in and show you the Orange County Sheriff's Office sharing surveillance video with us showing men tying a chain to the back of a pickup truck and the other end of that chain to the ATM ripping it open. In the video, a pickup truck with the chain attached to it and the other end of the chain on the ATM. The driver then accelerates forward, the ATM busts open, and men can be seen running off with the cash boxes. And deputies believe the machine was carrying about $117,000 at the time. The Orange County Sheriff's Office later arresting 23-year-old Deontre Walden and 22-year-olds Carlos Tawanri Jr. and Wendell Harp. I'm scared to come over here because I do go to this bank. I got a count here, but I'm too scared to go. Come here. If they doing all of this. Deputies say they were actually doing mobile surveillance on a Mercedes Benz, which ended up being used as the getaway car in the robbery. According to the arrest report, during that surveillance, deputies saw the men get into this truck, drive over to the Chase Bank, bust open the ATM, and ditch the truck. That's when investigators say the three then took off in the Mercedes, and deputies followed them. The sheriff's office helicopter providing directions from the air, deputies even deploying stop sticks. Ultimately, the Mercedes crashed into this home off of Ironwood Drive, where the three men ran, but were ultimately caught by deputies. Walden, Reed, and Harp are now facing a number of felony charges, including grand theft first degree, burglary of a structure, and criminal mischief. Now, a similar incident happened at a Regions Bank in Seminole County over the weekend. It was an attempted ATM robbery. The suspects in that case also used a chain attached to the back of the pickup truck, and then that pickup truck was left there. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office telling me today that they are looking into whether or not that incident in Seminole County is connected with this one here in Orange County. For now, in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6. Lauren, thank you.